This is Kurt Heisinger, accounting professor at Sierra College and author of Managerial Accounting. This video describes, in summary form, the four steps required to prepare the statement of cash flows. So this is an overview of the four steps, just this one slide, and then I have a separate lecture that dives into the details and provides a numerical example of exactly how to prepare the statement of cash flows. And, and it shows each of these steps in detail. So st the first step is to prepare the operating activities section of the statement of cash flows. This is always the first section that appears in the statement of cash flows and so the first step is to put the operating activities section together. And the indirect method, which again is described in much more detail in a separate lecture, uh, is the most popular by far and there are two different ways to prepare this section so the indirect method is the most popular and this is done by converting net income from an accrual basis to a cash basis. So remember that uh, generally accepted accounting principles require that we prepare the income statement on an accrual basis and that means that we record revenues when they're earned regardless of whether cash changes hands and we record expenses when they are incurred again regardless of when cash changes hands and the cash basis means that we record revenue when we get the cash and expenses when we pay the cash. So the operating activities section for the statement of cash flows converts net income from an accrual basis to a cash basis. And then step two, uh, in step two, we prepare the investing activity section. This is the second section that appears in the statement of cash flows. It's always in this order. And um, this information is cash activity related to non-current assets. So that information is presented in the investing activities section. So any cash activity, for example, related to the purchase of a building, that's a non-current asset, uh, or the sale of a building, or the purchase of an automobile, or the purchase of an intangible asset, those types of activities, cash activities, would show up in this section, and that's step two, to prepare the investing activity section. And then step three, is the preparation of the financing activities section of the statement of cash flows. This is the third section in the statement of cash flows, so it's step three, and it presents the cash activity related to non-current liabilities and owner's equity. So for example, if we were to get a long-term loan from a bank and they gave us the cash related to that long-term loan, that's a non-current liability, and that cash inflow would appear in this section. Uh, or if we were to issue stock, that's owner's equity, that would uh, the cash related to that, uh, that transaction would show up in this section. Or perhaps we buy back some treasury stock, that cash outflow would appear in this financing activity section. So step three then is to prepare the financing activity section of the statement of cash flows. And then step four is to reconcile the change in cash for the period that we're looking at. So for example, if our cash balance at the beginning of the year was let's say $100,000 and it went down to $80,000 by the end of the year, then the, the steps one through three, those three sections would show why the cash went down from $100,000 to eighty thousand, why it went down by twenty thousand dollars. So that is what we would show in step four. 